Health pioneers present, signs of hearing loss. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more relevant health topics. Some people have a hearing problem and don't realize it. You should see your doctor if you have trouble hearing over the telephone find it hard to follow conversations when two or more people are talking often ask people to repeat what they are saying need to turn up the TV volume so loud that others complain have a problem hearing because of background noise think that others seem to mumble can't understand when women and children speak to you types of hearing loss hearing loss comes in many forms. It can range from a mild loss, in which a person misses certain high-pitched sounds, such as the voices of women and children, to a total loss of hearing. There are two general categories of hearing loss. Sensorineural hearing loss occurs when there is damage to the inner ear or the auditory nerve. This type of hearing loss is usually permanent. Conductive hearing loss occurs when sound waves cannot reach the inner ear. The cause may be earwax buildup, fluid, or a punctured eardrum. Medical treatment or surgery can usually restore conductive hearing loss. Sudden hearing loss Sudden sensorineural hearing loss, or sudden deafness, is a rapid loss of hearing. It can happen to a person all at once or over a period of up to three days. It should be considered a medical emergency. If you or someone you know experiences sudden sensorineural hearing loss, visit a doctor immediately. Age-related hearing loss presbycusis presbycusis, or age-related hearing loss, comes on gradually as a person gets older. It seems to run in families and may occur because of changes in the inner ear and auditory nerve. Presbycusis may make it hard for a person to tolerate loud sounds or to hear what others are saying. Age-related hearing loss usually occurs in both ears, affecting them equally. The loss is gradual, so someone with presbycusis may not realize that he or she has lost some of his or her ability to hear. Ringing in the ears, tinnitus, tinnitus is also common in older people. It is typically described as ringing in the ears, but it also can sound like roaring, clicking, hissing, or buzzing. It can come and go. It might be heard in one or both ears, and it may be loud or soft. Tinnitus is sometimes the first sign of hearing loss in older adults. Tinnitus can accompany any type of hearing loss and can be a sign of other health problems, such as high blood pressure, allergies, or as a side effect of medications. Causes of hearing loss Loud noise is one of the most common causes of hearing loss. Noise from lawn mowers, snow blowers, or loud music can damage the inner ear, resulting in permanent hearing loss. Loud noise also contributes to tinnitus. You can prevent most noise-related hearing loss. Protect yourself by turning down the sound on your stereo, television, or headphones, moving away from loud noise, or using earplugs or other ear protection. Earwax or fluid buildup can block sounds that are carried from the eardrum to the inner ear. If wax blockage is a problem, talk with your doctor. He or she may suggest mild treatments to soften earwax. A punctured eardrum can also cause hearing loss. The eardrum can be damaged by infection, pressure, or putting objects in the ear, including cotton tip swabs. See your doctor if you have pain or fluid draining from the ear. Health conditions common in older people, such as diabetes or high blood pressure, can contribute to hearing loss. Viruses and bacteria, including the ear infection otitis media, a heart condition, stroke, brain injury, or a tumor may also affect your hearing. Hearing loss can also result from taking certain medications. Ototoxic medications damage the inner ear, sometimes permanently. Some ototoxic drugs include medicines used to treat serious infections, cancer, and heart disease. Some antibiotics are ototoxic. Even aspirin at some dosages can cause problems. Check with your doctor if you notice a problem while taking a medication. Heredity can cause hearing loss, as well. But not all inherited forms of hearing loss take place at birth. Some forms can show up later in life. For example, in otosclerosis, which is thought to be a hereditary disease, an abnormal growth of bone prevents structures within the ear from working properly. How to cope with hearing loss If you notice signs of hearing loss, talk to your doctor. If you have trouble hearing, you should. Let people know you have a hearing problem. Ask people to face you and to speak more slowly and clearly. Also, ask them to speak louder without shouting. Pay attention to what is being said and to facial expressions or gestures. Let the person talking know if you do not understand what he or she said. Ask the person speaking to reword a sentence and try again. Find a good location to listen. Place yourself between the speaker and sources of noise and look for quieter places to talk. The most important thing you can do if you think you have a hearing problem is to seek professional advice. 
your family doctor may be able to diagnose and treat your hearing problem. Or, your doctor may refer you to other experts, like an otolaryngologist, ear, nose, and throat doctor, or an audiologist, health professional who can identify and measure hearing loss. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video.